The defect set consists of a few very simple but efficient actions that are supposed to help you fight dust and dirt and other defects you may find on product images. The first two actions are just frequency splitting actions that don't create tons of additional layers, groups and adjustment layers to make you confused and lost. They only make two layers each, one for the high frequency and one for the low frequency to keep things short and easy. If you are not acquainted with the idea of frequency separation, take a break from the video, as there is a lot to learn. I'm not going to explain the technique. The first action, which is called Split Frequencies High Pass, gives you the High Pass prompt first, where you pick the radius, and then it gives you the Gaussian Blur prompt, where you have to enter the same radius as in the first prompt. After entering two radii, you get the image split. The background layer is the original image, layer 1 is the low frequency layer where you use the mixer brush, and the top layer is the high frequency layer where you use the clone stamp or healing brush. The other action is called Split Frequencies Blur. It works just the same way, but it gives you the Gaussian Blur prompt first. Some people prefer it to the high pass, as they seem to be able to pick a radius more easily. Apart from that, there is no difference. You get the same layers and you do the same things afterward. The third action in the set is called Dust Medium. After you've run it, you can use the brush that becomes active to remove dust from the image. It's basically the dust and scratches filter effect applied locally with the brush. The settings usually allow to remove dust on high-resolution images without much damage to the surface. Just remember that the dust and scratches algorithm is very destructive. You might want to tweak the filter settings if these particular settings don't work well on your particular images. By the way, cleaning dust on high-res images might not be such a good idea, especially if you're going to significantly resize them. After resizing, most of the dust bits just disappear. And whatever is left can be cleaned with the dust small action that does the same as the dust medium action, but in a more subtle way. Once again, you can use the dust medium action and clean dust on high-resolution images with a brush that becomes active. And you can use the dust small action to clean dust on images after resizing. If the action settings are not working, rewrite the dust and scratches step and use some other settings, just remember that as the algorithm is destructive, it works best on relatively smooth surfaces, and if you use it on the edges, you won't like the effect at all. The last dust cleaning action is supposed to be used on smooth surfaces only, but it's not as harmful for the edges as the dust and scratches actions. After you've run it, you get a brush just like before, and you use this brush to clean dust on high resolution images, but only if there is no texture, just a smooth surface. It won't work on leather or textile, but it will do wonders on metal and plastic. And if you use it on some edges, nothing terrible will happen. By using the brush, I can clean this dirty ring pretty quickly. There is one more action in the set, it's called Background Cleaner. You can use it to clean dirty backdrops on high-resolution images if they are smooth enough, that is, made of paper or plastic. Just run the action and use the brush to remove all the dirt from the backdrop. Just make sure that the tip of the brush is not very soft or you might affect the model if you get too close. 
the default settings of both filters that the action uses are not very radical. You can change that, or you can just keep in mind that the action won't eradicate huge spots of dirt completely. Personally, I prefer just smudging the worst of it with the mixer brush, or removing with the healing brush before running the action. It only takes a few seconds. Once again, just run the action and use the brush on the background. Don't use the brush on the model, as you will just destroy whatever texture there was. If I use the levels to darken the image, you'll see that the area that I cleaned with the action doesn't look posterized, there's no bending. Don't waste your time on removing every single spot of dirt with the healing tools, there's no need to when you can remove it all with one stroke of a brush. 